Alright. So, I'm gonna eat this Clementine. I'll let you guys watch the intro. Yay for fangirls. One day. One day I too shall have giggling fangirls sitting in a crowd. In my dreams. So, looks like game two is on Antigua. Mm. Presumably they are using WCS maps for everything. I think they were, they showed that at the beginning. So we're going to have cross spawns here. DOG up top. Hold down at the bottom. And yeah, white guys. Uh, yeah, so it looks like DRG's overlord is actually heading down towards the bottom left, so maybe it's not WCS Antigua? Because it looks like he's going to scout the left, the bottom left main. Okay. Oh wait, no. Oh, wait, no, he changed direction. Was he like checking for proxies or something? Could have been checking for proxies, I guess. I'm not sure, is that a proxy location over there? Oh shit, Sale. Your knowledge is so bad. Look at this fucking Chobo trying to commentate StarCraft 2. Sorry guys, just pretend I'm Total Biscuit. I mean, oh shit. <laughs> Whoops. I'm not supposed to name names when I make fun of other casters. Um, hmm. Well, damn. Anyway, we are going to have a 15 hatch here from, uh, from DRG. And... Looks like it's just standard wall and everything's the same so far as last game. But will this drone be able to get in? Oh, uh, I guess it's not the same. He didn't drone scout last game, did he? I'm trying to remember. I don't think he did. So this time the drone's gonna get in. Gonna be a little bit annoying. Gonna see. Uh. Huh? Okay, he didn't actually go in to check if there was a gas or not. So it looks like he just doesn't care. Alright, whatever. It is just going to be a one rack expand here from uh, from Pult. Same as last game. And looks like DRG has not gone for the fast gas this game. At least he hasn't taken it just yet. We, we shall see if he does decide to take it. Okay, no, he has actually gone for the gas this time. Okay. He's, he's again gone for the gas. Now it'll be interesting to see if he goes for that same fast broach opening. Uh, I think last game, I think it worked out okay. Uh, in the beginning, I mean, it was kind of interesting that he decided not to actually go for a bust and just kind of uh, chill. Behind the uh, behind the natural there, when I, I definitely thought he could have gone for it, but you know, uh, it did allow him to get a fast third base, kind of keep the pressure on the Terran, and worked out kind of okay. Although obviously he did lose that game. Full on, please don't please don't troll. Like you're a mod, so if you troll as well, people are just gonna get really confused. <clears throat> and we do have uh, both gases now being taken by uh, by what to say is Pult. Uh, now we did see last game he was going for a reactor Hellion follow-up to his opening until, you know, DRG knocked on his front door with roaches. So let's see if he does go for that again this game. Uh, of course the rush distance cross map on Antigua is a lot farther than on Ohana. So uh, if DRG does go for those roaches they will head a little bit later, give uh, Pult a little bit more time to react. So I think it would be a less ideal strategy on this map. But it looks like he is in fact just going for it once again. And once again we are seeing the initial three marines run out here for Pult. Going to be able to snap off one of these Zerglings. Um, and just kind of poke around a little bit at the front, and you know, that's just going to give him vision. As soon as those orges come out, exactly like last game, he's going to know he's going to be able to build a bunker. In the meantime, he is building a factory right now. Uh, I don't see a reactor going down on the barracks just yet, though. So this could be something else different, but I mean, you know, it's, it's most likely just going to be a reactor in Hellion. So it looks like just exactly the same openings <coughs> as last game. So it's interesting, you know, DRG, despite, despite losing that game, he just kind of... Uh, it's kind of just like, well, you know what, didn't quite work out last time, but I'm not really going to blame my build. He just kind of outplayed me, and, uh, and I'll just try it again, because that's my build. And I like it. I like it. Stick to your guns. 
So we do see uh, eight roaches produced. Just gonna pop out now. The, the marine's actually not quite running up all the way. Kind of just sitting in between the watchtower and DRG's natural, kind of at that halfway point. Uh, they're actually moving back a little bit now. I guess he's just gonna go back to the watchtower. The thing is, he doesn't want them too far forward because, you know, he needs them at least to put in the bunker. So even if he does see the roaches and he makes a bunker, but the marines die, it's kind of pointless, right? Um, wait a minute, did he? Uh, okay, he, he hasn't seen this. Like, DRG's moved his roaches around the side so they don't get spotted by the watchtower, but Polt didn't even bother to stay at the watchtower. And he's building a wall at his front, but he's still only got one bunker. Uh, this is looking a little bit dangerous for, for Polt. Yeah, now he's going to see it with the Hellions, but this might be too late. He's got one bunker at the front, no additional bunkers. He doesn't even care about bunkers, he's just not scared. Okay, now he's building a bunker at the front, but that's way too late. The roaches are coming in here, he's building a second bunker further back. That's not going to finish. SCV gets picked off straight away. I think that's a bunker. And yeah, the Roach is now going to go in. He's going to... Oh, he's got a lot of SCVs though. Wow, just doing a complete surround on the bunker. But no, now the bunker is under attack. There's one Marauder, two Marines, and two Hellions on the ramp trying to take down these Roaches. But the bunker isn't going to go down. The bunker! The bunker goes down! But are there enough units for Polt to take down all of these Roaches? That Marauder doing massive damage to the Roaches from the back. And it looks like Polt will be able to hold. Losing a Mule there. Losing a, hand, losing a good number of SCVs. But does manage to hold on. Wow, didn't even need a second bunker. But the thing is, look at the worker count. Pole is down to 27 SCVs. It's a 36 drones of DRG. Now DRG, of course, just even though DRG went for that early aggression, made all those roaches, you know, cut his drone production, he's still at way ahead <coughs> of of Pole on the uh, on the worker count. Obviously, the mules kind of uh, diminished that a little bit, but still, did kill a good number of SCVs there that were kind of surrounding that bunker to repair. So you know, it's not it wasn't all for nothing. And uh, meanwhile, DRG has gotten his third base as well, just like in last game. So I feel like, I don't know, did, did that go better for him than, than it did last game? I think that went a little bit better. Well, I'm not really sure, because last game, you know, he denied a lot of mining, but he didn't quite kill as many SCVs. So I think probably in the long term, that worked out better for DRG. It's hard to say. I'd have to go back and, like, actually count how, many stuff di how much stuff died. But anyway, um, looks like we actually have a lot of Marauders now in this composition, so it's uh, essentially some like a, a very quick Marauder Hellion timing here, um, although with a fairly low unit count. So it looks like, oh man, he might hit this timing just right here. There's two Queens, a few Links, and Roaches, and it looks like uh, pull is going to pull back, and that's a good idea. You know, just wants to force a few extra units out of DRG, scare him a little bit, doesn't want him to drone up so hard. And then, uh, and then that's fine, he'll just move back. Not a big deal. Uh, I mean, you know, he doesn't have any of the upgrades yet. His stim is only halfway done, his combat shield is not even halfway done, so he doesn't want to commit to any kind of attack uh, before he gets those nice crucial upgrades. And in the meantime, looks like we see a starport now on the way. And... What was that, the income? I believe that was the income. Hmm. Anyway, I don't, I don't really, like... Yeah, it's so funny because so I I always see those tabs in Korean because I'm like you know watching GSL or whatever. So, and I never like watch that. I don't really watch that many replays by myself and use the tabs. So I, I'm I'm very unfamiliar with like what all the tabs are and what they actually look like. Probably spend a day just kind of figuring it out. But uh oh, look at this! A link counterattack forcing a cancel on uh, on Pult's third there. So a nice move by DRG. Once again, just like in last game, showing uh, you know really great, great counterattacking and uh, and backstabs. But uh, uh, are they going to engage here? That's a lot of Marauders actually. Um, so those are going to do really well against the Roaches. They'll do well tanking against the Banelings, but won't do so hot against the Lings, especially on creep. It's going to be very, very careful. Does Pult really want to commit here? With just this force, and here we go. Looks like we might have the engagement. DRG's Banelings get a little bit stuck behind the rest of his army. He's trying to target down the Hellions and the Marines, but no! The Banelings do not connect, and DRG is suddenly in a lot of trouble. Those Banelings did not do nearly what they needed to do for him to survive this attack, and oh my god, Pult looks like he's just going to win with this attack. Oh my god, the drones are pulled, but that's way too many units. DRG is just going to get taken down here by this nice mid-game timing. DRG playing greedy, getting the fast third. The Roaches looks like they weren't, they didn't do enough damage in the beginning, and DRG... GG's out and gets 2 0'd by Pult in WCG. Look, look at Pult, he's like, yep, yeah, easy peasy, easy.